Hello everyone. Today we will talk about another very good, I would say even excellent Soviet lens, Zenitar M 1.750. It is fast and very sharp lens already at wide open with M42 mount, okay? It has automatic and manual aperture mode but sometimes it could be as with another Soviet lenses aperture blades are stuck wide open because of all the grease on it so as you can see it's not moving you see no in manual, no in auto mode. I will show you how to disassemble, clean up the blades and reassemble the lens. So first of all we will remove back of the lens. So here we have all mechanism, automatic for for um, for handling manual and auto mode. What we have here? Uh -huh. Yes, it's quite hard to move, and of course that spring cannot move the blades with oil as all grease so we will we'll get till aperture mechanism remove them so first of all we will remove a rear block optical block here as you may see there is a groove here and here so we will remove the optical block. Here we have there is a two two glasses inside. So we have uh, access to the aperture, and if you do not want to remove completely, you can try to to clean up in this position. But I'm not I'm not sure that it will help a lot. So, we will need also to remove the front optical block here. How to do this? So, you see there is a ring here, this ring. So, you need to turn it to the left, like that. Here you see there is micro screw here. We need to remove this part. Okay. In order to remove it to unscrew, you need to remove little screw here. And then you are screwed to the left. Oh, what do we see here? 
the pairs of grooves you see here, here and here we need to remove this ring which fixes the front optical block one more time here and here because there is another one here and here this one this ring fixes the front front glass it's it's not good it's not our aim our aim to uh, unscrew this ring Be careful when unscrewing in order not to scratch front glass because it's very close. So we have removed this ring and after you can remove easily the front lens block, okay? So we have a we have an access to the aperture blades from two sides. Now our aim is to to remove completely the aperture block. To do this you need to remove this part you see so this is part which turning uh, turning aperture aperture mechanism here with the ring so here there is two screws one and second we need to remove them one and another and you remove this little part then you turn and you can see the ring, the fixing ring inside here you see we are removing fixing ring these two holes oh. and then you can remove easily completely the whole so you need to you need to before removing just notice that uh, this mechanism should be within within this place you see there is the fixing to to limiting parts here one and another and this this stick metal stick should be when you will reassemble should be here in this place now you can easily remove the the whole block okay helicoid part we don't need for a while so now we have a aperture block 
we need to disassemble it in order to clean completely the blades here we have two little grooves here and here so we will remove the front ring okay It is done. Now we can easily remove all the blades. You see? Nope. And here we have one part and another. As you see, it's a spinning to the right. We will reassemble in the same way. And now we will just remove all the blades from their places. And put them in the alcohol. Now we will clean from all the sides two discs inside. It's necessary to clean, to wipe it and all the blades. Once cleaned, I will wipe it, wipe up till dry condition. One disc. Another. I using a stick, cotton stick and alcohol, 98% alcohol or alcohol. So you can see it's quite dirty, you see. It's important to clean the blades from all the sides. From two sides, okay?
Now we will wipe it to dry condition. Wipe and just put it to the disk. So you take this disk and you put it in order it should be to the spin to the right, okay? One. Three. Four. Five. And the last one. So the last one is usually you should move put under the first under the first blade, okay? Blades are in place. To reassemble, you just need to notice that this disc has two places, white places, here and here, okay? So this metal stick should be in the place here, you see, this one. There is little groove here. It's very important. Not this one, but this one. So we will put it like that, you see? Hop.
we'll check up if all the yes it's okay everything is in place you see yeah all one two three four five six all are in place so we'll put a ring this ring and we'll see if it's moving correctly our aperture let's see yes you see it is completely okay so I repeat one more time when you put the this disc you should put in order this stick will be should be near this little groove okay and you check up if everything is at its place here then you put the turn the ring you fix it And you check up if, if it's working. It's working perfectly. So now we will need just need to reassemble all together. It's very very easy. You take a focus helicoid part and you put this from this side like that. In order this stick should be here you see in this place Up. and of course there is a holes here they should be near this part because we will fix this little little spare part which which serves for manual here for when you turn the aperture ring it turns everything Up. so but first of all we will put the ring inside fixing ring this one we will fix the aperture mechanism inside the helicoid For this part and we fix it with screws One and two. So you see, it's we have fixed this stick. In, is in this place between these limiting parts okay so it's from auto mode and here when you turning ring is for manual mode okay 
So aperture is, is inside. Now I will put the optical pieces inside. So first it's a rear part. We just clean up some dust it, which might be already on the optical element and you screw it inside. Then you fix a little bit with a force. Oop. Then the front optical part. You take the ring and you fix the front optical part inside helicoid. Then of course you fix it applying a force. Hop, here we have. So then we will put this ring, very simple. Screw it inside and you fix this fixing screw little this one then you put this ring done. Then everything you need to do just put rear play, rear part ok. So this you see and this and this our stick it should be together. because this part is operating a stick here Oop. and then you find the holes for screws ok here we have Oop. and we put the screws inside fixing the rear part So let's see what happens. Manual mode. You see here, manual. Working without any problems. Switching to auto mode. 
as well. So it is done. This is a retro photo house. We are working for you. Hope to see you soon. Bye bye.